So today we're going to show you guys how to set parameters on the VFDs and to see where the face plates are on the VFDs. So first you are going to open Studios 5000. This is on laptop 2. You're going to open the Nacelle VER20. Alright, once Studio 5000 is open, you're going to want to go ahead and grab an Ethernet cable and plug it into the computer and then plug it into the e-box right next to the PLC. Alright, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to where it says offline and you're going to press on like the little module on the side and you're going to go online. And then once you are online, you can go into this main program and then go into main routine. And that will show you all the ladder logic. And then down here towards the bottom left, you are going to go into PowerFlex 525 Ethernet VFD1. And then there's the second one and the third one right below each other. We can go ahead and click on the first one. Alright, once that has popped up, go into Drive, and Drive shows you the parameters, the properties, the wizards, and any of the faults that you can see on the faceplate when the PowerFlex 525 does fault. You can pull this up and it will show you all the fault codes, and it will show you the fault codes in the parameters. So go into the parameters, and I'm going to show you guys how to set speeds for the VFDs itself and how you can change them when you are online like we are doing. So you're going to go up there to up top left for all parameters you're going to click on the arrow and then you're going to go into basic program and this shows you um, our, our first motor for the VFD number one that we're doing right now. It shows you what the motor is at, what the volts, the hertz, the current, the FLA, how many poles, the RPMs, and the NP power. And then down right here we have it set, the minimum frequency is set, set at 60 and the maximum set at 60. Over here, this is what we're going to do to change it. So you're going to click on this 6000 because it's in hertz. And if you go ahead and press start, go ahead and press start on for the VFDs, you can see that they are at 60 hertz right now. And if you go ahead and change that 6,000, let's say you want to change it to 2,000. 
And yeah, as you can see right there, that first one just dropped down to 2,000, 2000 hertz. And you can change it right back up to 60 if you want to. And you can see it increase. And you can change... On here you can change the the ramp speed like for the like, stop mode so if you do press stop you can change it to break just a coast down to a stop you can hard stop it you can do any kind of stop you'd like on that and you can change the start as well too you can have it ramp up to speed right away jolt right to speed or slowly go up to speed we have our set for a five second delay so it takes five seconds for it to go up to the sixty, the six thousand hertz, and I think that's about it. So thanks for watching.